How are you? Hope you're good. Today in 7 days of top 7s we have top 7 cats. No, I'm just joking. I bet you looked at the title though, didn't you? No, 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 not at that level yet. Yet. Speaking of cats, I have one here. Hello. Say hi. Hi. Okay, bye. <laughs> Some people keep asking me for like including cats in my videos and then sometimes when I do people like comment, cats? Really? <laughs> so, I can't please them all, can you? <laughs> Welcome to day 2 to this seven days of top seven why does that name constantly like i struggle with it anyway so today i have top seven characters this was a really really hard list to make for me and i bet like this will change like every week or so but as of the time that i wrote the list <laughs> these were my top seven seven characters and why i think that they are in the top seven character list <laughs> number seven is my very recent one i read the es etiquette espionage and there was this Mechanical dog, which by the way, I didn't love the book. I wouldn't say that I loved the book I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it But it was really funny that one of my main my one of my new favorite characters was in there and it's a mechanical Dog and it's just the cutest thing ever and I have things for animals and if they're mechanical and they're just being happy it, I just want to hug him so it's called Bumper Snoot, I think, and it's a mechanical dog. Do you need anything else? It just is always happy, just wants some coal, and it just wants to live happily ever after, and just the sweetest thing ever. That is it, that's the reason. <laughs> Number six is Azriel from A Court of Mist and Fury, because Azriel is just so put together, yet lethal, you know, just the silent danger, and there's something about his character, he's so inherently good, but so dangerous, that you feel okay about feeling that way for technically, well, he's not a bad guy in any way, but like technically a dangerous, like, assassin-ish type of person. You would feel bad, because, you know, I'm not one of those who are like, ooh, I loved some bad boys, like, no, bad boys are bad boys, you know? Get, get the good guys <laughs> with this character he's so inherently good that you just you can you just want to hug him but he wouldn't let you because he's so closed off you just want to make him trust you <laughs> i have feelings for him okay it's fine <laughs> number five is dobby because dobby is a sweetheart the way he just wants to defy the rules of the society is just insanely awesome he's a house elf and he doesn't want to be a house elf no that's not that's not true he doesn't want to be enslaved house elf which is you know a concept that other house elves really frown upon and it's supposed to be like shameful because they love to surf but dobby's like nah you know what i want socks <laughs> and in order to make socks i need some wage and he goes on and gets himself free well with harry's help and he just goes on to be like a role model but not really because no one's gonna ever admit it i'm hoping that at the future of wizardry like that became a thing and dobby is like one of the first free elves, you know, just like there's a statue of Dobby somewhere because of his awesomeness. Like, I hope that's a thing. Please be a thing. Similarly to number six, uh, number four is Reese. And Reese will, you know, I don't, I don't like lust <laughs> after a, a lot of book characters and fictional characters. Like, I often will like the character and be like, I can see why people would really want to like date them. But I'm not usually one of them. But when it comes to Reese, I mean, is there any girl woman out there that read about him and really honestly would did not say like I wish? <laughs> Sorry, there's like motorcycles outside and I'm so used to the noise now because they're just like bikers club that like gather outside sometimes. I'm so used to it that I don't actually notice and then when I'm editing I'm like dang it. I honestly it's just like Reese is the perfect guy. Like he is. I mean, it's a bit self-destructive, but... And it's also from A Court of Missing Fury. Number three is Kizzy. Kizzy, Kizzy is from a wonderful book called The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. She's one of the crewmates. She's not a main character, although I don't know. She's a one of the main characters, I suppose. She is hilarious. She does not take crap from anybody. She's sassy. She's very... I don't think she, like, thinks a lot before she talks, but that makes it for a very amusing character. I love her personality, I love how fearless she is, I love how smart she is, and she is a brilliant character. If you read the book, 
you will probably agree if you haven't read that book please read that book because it's really good <laughs> number two is gary the unicorn gary the unicorn is from a book called the lightning struck hardcorn without a horn he's extremely self-absorbed he is also very loyal and he doesn't have his horn and he you know farts rainbows and he's just a hilarious hilarious character but also very like i just want him to be happy and number one i had to give to hermione purely because i grew up thinking i am her so clearly i aspire to be hermione type of person that's probably why i cared so much about my grades and how i pushed myself to study and i think that's a brilliant person to go for when you're growing up so maybe she's not my favorite character but she she is the character that meant the most to me as i was growing up so in turn probably influenced a good part of my personality most likely so i just didn't feel like i would do it justice if it was a number one just because for the importance it played on my actual being at the moment so that is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it as always let me know down below which character is your favorite all-time all-time favorite character you can choose to don't cheat <laughs> just the number one have a wonderful day and i will see you tomorrow bye